Okay, these are further details on power infrastructure. We've got 1,400 watts of solar panels. These basically go to the living area. Here's our chicken coop with one chicken sitting on eggs. Uh, here's a one kilowatt Honda generator that we use for, for backup power whenever there's not enough sun. And we've got a big battery bank. This is about eight, a thousand amp hours at 12 volts right now. Here's a power inverter of three kilowatts uh, and its charger. We've got another power inverter here, 3,000 watts, you can't see it hardly. Uh, 3,000 watt for backup and another small one of 1,000 watts for backup as well. Now, this is the old workshop area and there's some tools here. So like, for example, the torch table from last year that we're discontinuing and moving up to the next version. That's the old controller here still and a, and a gas acet oxyacetylene torch head. Here's another torch cutting set which we used with the CNC torch table. We've got two more plasma, not plasma, welder guns in the back there. Various equipment. Here are two power cubes, 18 horse. That's, those are the first ones, first prototypes that uh, here the coupler, the shaft coupler needs to be replaced and this one here works pretty well except this one, this power cube is sucking off the the frame integrated hydraulic reservoir of the other other power cube since we had these coupled before but this could also operate with its own hydraulic reservoir which happens to be right here. Uh, we've got other ST style, well these are not ST style, these are generator heads uh, 20 kilowatts, 240 volts and, and 120 these are, can be coupled directly to a hydraulic pump, so that could be, we can use this for power generation. We haven't used these simply because we just have been using the former one. And this is a three-phase generator head, which we haven't used much because it's hard with, you can't do that without a go, if, if your engine does not have a governor, you can't really use it. And our power cubes don't have a governor, so we need to uh, use another type of engine to run this successfully. Here's a Hobart 200 amp three-phase welder. We've got this workshop space here that's usable, actually. We've done the production run in this space here last year. It's undercover, under roof here, some metal storage right here, some hydraulic hoses. And these uh, tables here, that's a good half inch, four by eight table. We've got a couple of those here. This is a drill press. This is the old iron worker prototype one, which is just basically a hole punch element. Here's the shop press. Here's the controls for the iron worker and a couple of XY slides and uh, big lathe chuck right here back there we've got a couple of lathe chucks uh, when we were making the first prototype of the multi machine that's basically a, a usable space here the old workshop about a thousand square feet of usable more like 500 square feet of usable space here but that's also could be used if we need to expand production in here and right next to it is the greenhouse, which is disused right now. We're not growing anything right now uh, because we don't have a farmer right now. Um, but that's basically most, most of the infrastructure here. Spare parts like hydraulic motors and hydraulic pumps, couplers and other various sundry elements from former production runs. So that's about it. That's the workshop infrastructure. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.